Barbie's got the glamour, Nintendo's Game Boy the tech. But to be named the most popular toy ever made, it helps to be a little square. Legos, you know, those interlocking plastic bricks are everywhere. From books, to fashion, to the internet. Everywhere. And while most of us associate the word Lego, which is Danish for play well, with childhood, a growing number of adults are admitting they play well, well into their 40s, 50s, and beyond. They've even got their own acronym, AFALS, Adult Fans of Legos. The Lego group estimates there are at least 40,000 of these later-in-life Lego lovers. In fact, they account for 5% of all Lego sales and they live among us. Mike Bader is from New City, New York. As an adult, it's like kind of like being a kid again. You know, it's like, hey, instead of buying just one of these, I could buy four of these now and take the pieces out and use them for what I want to do. Mike guesses he has 400,000 Legos in his basement collection. That's about $40,000 worth. It's all like in boxes and then inside the boxes, everything's got in plastic bags. Like I said, my wife thinks like, oh, you're just OCD and erotic because you're putting plastic Lego into plastic bags, into plastic boxes. Are you calling daddy? But don't despair for his wife, Erica. She knew what she was getting into. Before we even got involved, he was the Lego man. Um, everybody in town, everybody knew that this is what he did, so. I don't think everybody in town knew. Everybody in town knows. You know, every man needs a man cave, but in my world, my husband needs the Lego room. Mike, along with 10,000 others, recently attended Brick Fair in Northern Virginia, the Super Bowl of Lego conventions. It, it makes it worth it that I, you know, I'm not sitting in my room building for hours and hours for no reason. The convention draws fans from around the country. They meet to show off new creations and connect with other Lego enthusiasts. Todd Webb is founder of Brick Fair. It's my flavor of my childhood. And as soon as I see the pieces and, and hear the noise and touch them, it's just, it's, it's Pavlovian, it's built in now. There are Lego obsessions of all shapes and sizes. But Webb says one trait is universal. When you meet an adult fan of Lego by himself, you might get just a little hint of nerdiness, or maybe he disguises it well, but when you put 30 or more of us in a room together, the, the nerdiness rises from the floor like mist, and, and it's pretty palpable. Now, meet the first couple of Brick Fair, Justin and Jessica Rupp. You could say Legos are an important building block in their marriage. Brought forward now. In fact, their hoopah, a Jewish ceremonial canopy, had columns made of Legos. And so we thought, well, why don't we build it out of something that we enjoy building with anyways? Yeah, build it out of Legos. Yeah. Most of these fans enjoy working with Legos in their spare time. But for Nathan Sawaya, whom we met earlier, a part-time hobby has become a full-time profession. This one next to you, you were describing as incredibly personal. Why so? Well, this piece really is my story to a certain extent, you know, breaking out of where I was to try and do something brand new. Breaking out from his career as a corporate lawyer in order to build on his talents as a self-described brick artist. His works can be playful, surreal, even disturbing. And each one is made solely with these regular square and rectangular pieces. So I've tried to take this toy that people are so familiar with, but really make them think about it in a different way, almost make them forget that it is a toy. Museums and galleries across the country have now taken notice, and Sawaya is on a nationwide tour. And so the galleries that have taken a chance on it are blown away now because so many people can relate to the medium. Young or old? These Lego lovers seem to agree. When it comes to Legos, there is no such thing as a generation gap. This is innovation. Well, it's just fun to build with them. You can really get creative about it. I might even invent a new Lego creation. Yeah, you know, you can build about almost anything with them. Even construct a bridge to childhood. One plastic brick at a time.